everyone, it's Teresa back with another video. Today I'm going to talk about, um, and I'm going to show you something that I crocheted to try and help the problem. Um, last year, last summer, we were having a little bit of a, uh, a problem with some um, hornets or wasps um, in our home. Um, nothing happened, nothing came inside, but um, I noticed that whenever I would go to bed at night, I would hear this ticking sound, like tick, 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 tick. and I, I live in like, and it was a like a bunch of ticking sounds. <laughs> like what? What is that? And I would, I told my husband, and he's like, I don't hear anything. And I'm like, uh, yeah, there's something. There's something. Even like I would notice it more at night when I went, would go to bed because that's when it's quiet in the room, right? When you're settling down to sleep. And uh, what was I gonna say? So I'm like, cause we live in an older home. So I thought, is it mice maybe? Mice in between the walls trying to come in? Cause it sounded like it was right like at the wall. Like it was really weird. I can't describe it. So anyways, I'm like, what is this? And then, and, the, and then I kept hearing it. My husband didn't hear it. And then, then my husband started hearing it. And then, and then one morning I just opened up the curtain. There was like a window close to my side of the bed. And I go to look and what do I see is all these, these wasps and hornets, whatever they are. I think they're wasps, hornets, same thing. I don't know if there's a difference between them. And they're all like going into the top of the, like between the the roof, I don't even know, the soffit, I don't know what it's called. But they're all like going in and out and they keep hearing that tapping, tapping, tapping. So they were building a nest in there. And I'm like, oh my gosh, what if they can get in the house? Like I was so worried, right? So my husband ended up like just putting some um, foam, like a construction, I don't know what you could even call it. Like, um, it's like a sealer. And it looks like all puffed up. So he he did that. He what else did he do? He tried a couple of things. He finally, finally, we, he kind of blocked that hole so that they couldn't get in. They were trying to get inside to this nest, right? So, anyways, I'm like, we have to like get rid of. We have to stop them because he's like, well, it was like near near the end of the summer. He's like. You know, they're going to die off in the winter. I go, no, they hibernate because I was reading up on it. They're going to come back in the spring. <laughs> so anyways, we did block it. And now I'm noticing that it's early spring here in Toronto area. And um, I'm noticing a few of them up there trying to get in again. So my husband saw this um, thing on Facebook. He's the one that gave me the idea to do this. And... I'll show you the picture of what he sent me right here. And then so I, I couldn't find like on that post, that Facebook post, there was no pattern or anything. So I did a search online and I found this pattern to make. So I ended up making this. It's like a mock, it's like a, it's, a, it's supposed to look like a wasp nest, right? So what I did, and I made it with a uh, jute twine. So it's pretty durable and he's gonna hang it. I wanted to do this video before I, I got him to hang it outside because apparently if they, if there's other wasps or hornets in the area trying to get to build a nest in that area and they see this, that will kind of get them to think because they're very territorial. This is what I'm hearing. I don't know if this is even true. I hope it works because we're going to hang it outside near that old area where they were trying to get in last year. And what I did was I put plastic bags on the inside to stuff it, like just shopping, old shopping bags. And that's it. It's really easy to do. I found this pattern online. I'll show you. This is the picture of it. I kind of like I kind of changed it because I was running out of jute twine and I didn't want to go to the store. I'm trying to avoid the stores if I can as much as possible. But this was done with using um, plurn, which is 
yarn that you make with uh, with plastic bags that you go shopping for groceries, right? That's another picture of it. And uh, it's called, the name of the pattern is called Crochet Plarn Hornet's Nest by Sharon Knight. Um, Sharon Knight's Ravel Restore. So it was free. So I just copied and pasted it. And um, did I put the link for it? I did put the link for it. But anyways, I changed it slightly. Because as I said, yeah, I'll put the link for where I found this pattern. Because it is a free pattern. So I just copied and pasted it into Word. And um, so I changed it a little bit because it was just like I was running out of, it was getting huge. So maybe this one is really big. I can't really tell by looking at the picture, but maybe it's huge. It doesn't have to be that big. But maybe I was making it too big. I don't know. I changed it a little bit where when I started to decrease because I was running out of this stuff. So I started decreasing and the pattern says to decrease every 10 stitches. So I started decreasing every five so that I worked it up and I didn't. I ended up having enough, enough of the jute twine. And it's pretty big. It's about, probably about five to six inches wide. So, and it kind of looks like, it looks like, a, it looks like a nest. <laughs> so we're going to hang this outside. I'll let you know how it goes. But I did tell some friends, some other crochet channels about it, and they thought it was really interesting. So I thought, let me make a video. And if you're interested, I can do a tutorial on it as well. Um, but I will leave the link of it below. If you do want to see a tutorial, let me know, and I'll just do it according to, similar to this pattern, but I kind of like, like I said, I, I kind of stopped doing, I didn't increase it every 10 stitches. I increased it every five as the pattern was saying to do it every 10 unless I misread it but anyways that's my little hornet story that's my little hornet <laughs> fake hornet nest that I crocheted and that's my video for today let me know if you want to see a video or a tutorial on it I, I would love to do I wouldn't mind doing one for you and so, um, if you enjoyed this video and you're new here, I would encourage you to please subscribe to my channel. I would love it if you would subscribe. Join my crochet family. I've got quite a, a, a few wonderful uh, followers and great supporters, other crochet channels. We do collaborations. Uh, we're gonna try and do a, um, a praise a thon that's going to be a lot of fun with some other channels that are uh, Christian based. So that's going to be a lot of fun. We're working on that. And we're also thinking of doing a what was the other one? Uh, another collab. It's like a, a live craft a thon. So I'll give you information on that if you're interested in participating as another channel, if you're another crochet channel and you want to do, we're trying, we're trying to figure it all out. So once we get all the details, I will definitely do a video and give you all the information on it. But I really appreciate you being here today. And if you like this content, please give me a thumbs up. And if you want to leave me a comment, I would love to hear from you. So thank you so much. And uh, 
We will talk soon. Take care. Bye.